his, own, his or her own devices. Please understand that I'm not speaking about gender. Boop. Okay. This is a gender neutral channel. All right. So when we talk about divine masculine or divine feminine, we're talking about the energies. We're not talking about gender. Okay. Case in point, I am obviously physically male, but I resonate more with divine feminine energy. Okay. All right. Divine Feminine, starting you off. Overall energy we have is the whole deck. Yes, okay, the whole deck is upside down. We have the Seven of Swords. Can you see that? Yes, okay. We also have the Two of Pentacles. Oh boy, we have the Three of Swords. And finally, we have the Lovers, Divine Feminine. So I can already tell that this reading is for mostly... For those of us in the on the Twin Flame journey that have not reached this point of separation from the Divine Masculine, you may actually be in physical separation, meaning you're not talking to each other, you don't see each other, you're, you're not associating with each other, blah, blah, blah. But this is only physical separation. This isn't necessarily an energetic separation, okay? And... Um, I mean, me, myself, I went to a little bit of an extreme. I moved to Puerto Rico. Now, it's more than just me trying to separate from the twin flame energies or from the energies of the individual that I considered at the time, or at least spirit had just corrected me. I was being told at the time was my divine masculine counterpart or was the individual that represented the divine masculine counterpart to my divine feminine, okay? I went to a pretty big extreme and I moved to Puerto Rico, but there was more to it than just trying to get away from that energy. I wanted to be somewhere where I was closer to nature. Um, it wasn't so dense. It wasn't the city and I could have enough space to live and have my studio and do my readings and write music and all that kind of stuff. And here we are. I moved to Puerto Rico. Um, but in terms of this situation for the divine feminine right now, quite frankly, divine feminine, I, I kind of feel like there are things that you are deceiving yourself about. I'll go so far and be so cutthroat as to say you might be lying to yourself about this. And I feel like you're doing everything right now that you can to keep the balance. But I'm really getting that, like what, I, what I'm literally seeing is a feminine figure that's like juggling all kinds of things, trying to keep things in balance while like there are tears streaming down her face. And also all the while saying, no, everything's okay. This is fine. It's very much, especially with this three of swords here. Y'all know that meme of like the dog that's sitting in a, in a house, maybe in like a kitchen or something, sitting at a kitchen table with this like oddly weird optimistic smile on its face. And the whole house around them is on, on around this dog is on fire. And then, and the next frame is, this is okay. No divine feminine. This is not okay. The way, ooh, okay, spirit's getting real cutthroat here. Please don't shoot the messenger. And if you're new to me, you're new to my channel, I apologize if I offend anybody. I'm not trying to offend anybody, and I'm not going to apologize for triggering you, though, because triggering is a good thing, all right? But spirit is saying right here, right now, that the way that you're allowing this divine masculine counterpart to treat you is not okay. And quite frankly, if you're allowing this individual to treat yourself this way, then in essence, when you really think about it, you're also the one that's treating yourself this way because you are allowing them to treat you this way. With the lovers being at the bottom of the deck, this doesn't necessarily have to mean that, yes, this definitely can represent the twin flame journey. This is one of the main central twin flame cards in the tarot or what's considered to be a main twin flame card in the tarot. But... Um, this doesn't necessarily need to mean that you are between lovers or anything. Ultimately, the lovers is about a choice, okay? And it's a, I like to, excuse me, I like to say it's a choice of either vice or virtue. Vice being what society thinks or what everyone else tells you you should want, or maybe even what your ego is saying that you should do. And virtue is what your heart truly wants, you following your own self. It's also about making a choice that is best for yourself, Divine Feminine. And if that takes you away from your divine masculine, or at least the individual that is representing divine masculine energy for you right now, then so be it. Because ultimately, something about this is breaking your heart. Something about this is deceptive. And you're like doing everything that you can to juggle things to make this okay. 
to the point where you're in, you're even making not only are you making excuses for the divine masculine but you're making the excuses for yourself for even continuing to support this individual like this okay let's get into the rest of the situation.